What's up, what's up, what's up? Be connect. How we doing? What's good, folks? What's good, what's good, what's good? Happy Monday to ya. We're happy that you're here. I forgot to charge my headphones, so I've got things blaring through the speaker right now. So hopefully there's no feedback or irritation going on with that kind of dissonance, but it'll be what it'll be. Working on some tea over there, El Te. Uh, I am in need of some tea because I did not sleep hardly at all last night. Our youngest is sick with some kind of virus. And uh, we're just, we're dealing right now. So I am exhausted, completely swamped. But I'm here, I'm here and I'm doing my best. And I hope that you're doing your best too. We got a fun stream today, folks. We're gonna be doing uh, some Manga Spice Cafe, uh, which is good, because I need some more manga. I've run out. Um, I, I'm going to have to start resorting to apps pretty soon because I've run out of things to read. Um, so three more manga to add to the list is, is a welcome change. I'm going through things too quickly, going through things too quickly, reading too fast, too many things too fast, running out of things to read, running out of things to consume. What do you do when you just consume so much? You don't even know what's left. We go ping general, let people know that we are live. Pinged. Let's drop a GIF. Here's one that goes bzz. There's one of N going bzz. But for real folks, I am white. There's my T. LT, I'll be right back. But for real though, it is, a, it is a problem. You guys don't even realize how much coffee and how much tea I've had today. It's it's um, it's wild I don't get the jitters. But I think the only reason I don't get the jitters is purely because of the fact that things are so crazy at the home. And I'm so sleepy. We gotta get everybody healthy. I'm convinced I'm gonna I'm gonna get sick again. Inevitably, that's the way that it goes. The 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 sickness just kind of works its way from one member of the family to the next until your kids turn eighteen and move out of the house and then and then you don't get sick as often again. But I think you're just sick for eighteen years. That's my understanding. And if you have another kid, then it starts over. Good morning, Sneaky. What's up, my friend? Welcome in. How was your weekend? Happy that you're here. First, Sneaky claimed it today. Snagged it. Nobody else can be first now. We also have a new command in the chat now. Kids are Petri dishes. It's confirmed. They just, they, they... <laughs> they absolutely ruminate with viruses. Viri. They just are viral. It's been a while since I played with Desmond May and I'm looking at all the different configuration tools. It's been forever. There are 3D settings now. So I guess you could play a 3DS game on Desmond May. That's crazy. I mean, on my... On my... Definitely... Definitely a legitimate capture card that I have for my DS. I certainly would never emulate a game. Absolutely not. Wouldn't even consider it. What are you? What are you, blind? What are you, crazy? But yeah, we got a Manga Spice Cafe, so we'll, we'll get right into it, folks. We'll get right into it. We got a low, a low crowd coming in with us, so we're just going to get right into the Manga Spice Cafe. For those of you that don't know, Manga Spice Cafe is a monthly subscription box. They do not sponsor us, so this is purely just me sharing a passion of mine uh, with an organization that I think is pretty cool because if you could have manga delivered straight to your door, why wouldn't you? 
What are you thinking? Come on. Get manga to your, to your door. Those of you that don't know what manga is, it's Japanese comics, graphic novels. And uh, this is the box that delivers straight to your door three different manga every single month. And then also some fun uh, Eastern snacks in here. So we're going to try the Eastern snacks. We're going to take a look at the manga. And then we are going to uh, move on from that. But I always like to close these up with a kind of ranking of where the box sits. So round trip after shipping and everything these normally cost me somewhere around like 43 dollars so i will let you know was this box worth it or not depending on the ones that i got inside they actually just wrapped up their summer festival so we'll see by the way if you ever want to watch these uh after the fact we do cut and edit them and put them up on our youtube channel checkpoint church so uh, youtube.com slash c slash checkpoint church or you can just search on youtube for checkpoint church and you'll find us we're all over the place um, but manga spice cafe goes up on our, our vods channel as well as our main channel so you want to get that either way let's take a look inside and see what we got huh so once you open up your manga spice cafe it slots up oh there we go first and four. Ooh, it's a halloween one it's a spoopy one it's happy halloween happy spookween so um for those of you that don't know manga spice cafe is a play on maid cafes and so they always give you a maid cafe girl uh, of the month. This is clearly the spooky one. Let's learn her name and learn a little bit more about her before we start breaking in the box here. Happy Halloween. Spooptastic. Uh, trick or treat. I am made Super John and I'm all dressed up for our special Happy Happy Halloween box. Let's try some unique flavors and investigate some spooky tales with this month's manga, snacks, and drink. Happy Halloween and enjoy. Now, before we read through this, before we read through this, we're going to take a look at what's inside, yeah? What's up, Zando? Welcome in, my friend. Okay, first things first. Let's look at what our uh, what our what our manga are because normally they're right on top. So they're the easiest thing to typically look at. This looks pretty cool. This art is gorgeous. Wow, man! Look at this art. Isn't that gorgeous? Ghost Reaper Girl Volume One by Akira uh, Akisa Akisa Saike. Let's read it. Uh, okay, so this is. Chloe has dreamed of leading a glamorous life as an actress ever since she was little. But since the ripe old age of 28, that's weird, I'm 28, me and Chloe! But uh, being the ripe old age of 28 might be working against her and her spontaneous displays of violence aren't helping either. Okay, I'm not, I'm not actually, I'm not violent. So me and Chloe do not see eye to eye any longer. Um, not all hope is lost, however. She might be perfect for the role offered by a mysterious and charming new man in her life. Can Chloe become the Ghost Reaper girl and take down the evil spirits that have escaped from Hades? Sounds all right. The art is what really sold me on this one. Uh, the actual story itself is just kind of just kind of okay. Um, interestingly, though, it is backwards. So that's very that's very curious. Ghost Reaper Girl is read, read from left to right, as requested by Akisa Saike, the creator of the series. That's very interesting. Now, for those of you who don't know, manga is read from right to left. This is read from left to right. Curious. Very strange. Well, that's already a weird thing for Viz to do, but cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's get our other two manga in here. Hopefully they're both new ones. I don't recognize them off the bat, so I think we're in a good spot so far. Okay, manga number two is Kimono Jen. Kimono Jen. Kimono Jen by, let's see, uh, Shoimoto. Welcome to the Monster Detective Agency in a quiet rural village. Livestock has been dying off in a strange manner. Inugami, a detective of the occult, is summoned from Tokyo to solve the mystery. He meets a boy, scorned by the villagers, who call him Doritabo, after a yokai that dwells in the muddy fields. Inugami soon learns that there is more to the boy than meets the eye, and vice versa. I don't have any idea what that's about. That, they, didn't, they didn't tell me a ding-a-dang thing. Um, but the art's fun, looks good. Um, always down for a new story. One that I've literally never heard of, I'm interested. Uh, just the fact that I haven't heard of it, I'm on board. Uh, cool, 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 cool. All right, and our last volume is, let's see, Momo the Blood Taker by Seven Seas Entertainment. Momo the Blood Taker. Again, dig in the art. All the art is great. This is by Akira Sugito. Uh, looks like did both, both the story and the art. Always dig that. Okay. Uh, Momo the Bloodtaker. Tokyo is plagued by a string of murders where the victims are drained of blood. While the city whispers about vampires, Detective Miko, 
Mikogami Kaigo looks to avenge his murdered lover. As he stalks the man with two faces, Mikogami catches the attention of a mysterious silver-haired girl. Neato! Neat. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I know nothing about this one either, but I'm very curious. Very curious about all of them. Looks really gory. Just, just by a quick cursory glance through, looks very gory. I'm on board. Neato. Cool. All right, let's look through some of the snacks, and then we'll do our running total at the end. Also, all of these Manga Spice Cafes come with 10 points. So they actually have a printout sheet on their website. You can take the 10 points, put them on the sheet. If you, after you get a year's worth, you get a free box. So... You pay for 12 months, you get one month free. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, we got a big roll of grilled seaweed here. Not a big fan of seaweed, so this'll be okay. We got some truffle chips, love truffles, so very excited about this. Is that Lay's? I'll never tell. Pumpkin crisps. Hedgehog Forest Gump, they say. That is Hedgehog Forest Gump. I am not making that up. That is who that, uh, that that is who that is. That's who that is. In case you didn't know, this is Hedgehog Forest Gump, and um, we're gonna we're gonna find out how pumpkin crisp tastes here in a moment. Let's see what else we got in here. Our drink for this month is a black currant uh, juice drink, juice box from Vita, from Concentrate. Neat. Um, oh, we got a little trick or treat bag. That's very cute. Look at the little trick or treat bag. I love it. Let's see. Looks like maybe we got some candies in here. Yep, we got a Kit Kat and some other various little candy treats. I'm a big fan. I'm a big sweet tooth person, so this works great for me. Zargathos, how are we doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy you're here. Good to see you. Hope all is well. And then they always give us a flavor of ramen every month, and this is black garlic oil ramen, which actually sounds pretty banging. Might have to take that one home and give it a shot because sounds real good. It's not very often that I make these, but um, this might be one that I have to because that sounds delightful, yeah? Okay, let's give some of these things a shot. Uh, really a small selection of snacks this month, which is okay. They don't all have to be um, jam-packed with a bunch of variety of snacks. Um, I'm honestly surprised not to see any Dorymon treats, the little corn puff treats, but I'll take it. Uh, let's work our way from savory to sweet. That's the order that I normally like to go. So we're going to start with the truffle first, because that's the one, honestly, I'm most excited about anyway. Uh, but these are some truffle. Oh, I guess we should read our book, shouldn't we? Read, read our little book to see if there's anything else I need to know about these. Mini Halloween treat bag. Just what it sounds like. They come with Halloween-themed haichu, a square gourmet chocolate from Tyrol, a grape candy that changes color or turns clear as you eat it, and a sweet potato-flavored white chocolate Kit Kat. Okay. Uh, and then a Filipino strawberry cream gummy. Snacks with a crunch. Never before seen potato chip flavors such as savory truffle. Hmm. Hmm. Neato. And let's see if we can learn a little bit about our storytellers here. Akira Sugito. Uh, do I recognize any of the other things? Don't recognize any of their other manga they've worked on. Show Aimoto. Don't recognize any of their work. And then Akisa Saike. No. Don't recognize any of these people. That's neat. These are totally new to me and I'm super excited about it. Doing well, had my baby all morning, so now I'm crunching down on my favorite season of Church Life Charge Conference season. Yep. Ain't that the truth. Well, we're glad that you're here spending that time with us. Hopefully. Oh, yes. Oh, very good. So on the back, they actually told me the preview for next month. And Dandadan Dan is in there. And I am enjoying Dandadan Dan so much. Or Dandadan, or however you say it. Um, cool. Very excited that I'm going to have the first volume of that. Love it. Um, that, that'll, be a, that'll be a keepsake for sure. Okay. <clears throat> Truffle flavor first. Let's give it a shot before we see what else is in store. Just off a cur cursory smell, smells just like chips. Smells like chips, looks like chips. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Mmm. Oh, I really hope they bring that flavor for real. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. That tastes just like truffle fries. Wow. Mmm. Yes, Lays. 
go off. Bangin' Truffle Lays. If you can find these, which apparently you can't because they've never been seen before, whatever they said in the box. Mmm! 10 out of 10. All right. Savory seaweed roll. I'm, like I said, I'm really not that crazy about seaweed, so. And then they said it was Tom Yum flavored, so we'll try it. It is exactly as it says on the tin. It is a seaweed roll. Wow! Hot! Spi spicy! Wow! Holy moly! Oh, wow! That is a spicy... Wow! Oh my gosh! They need a warning on there! Ooh. That is the spiciest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Oh, there is sort of a warning. There is a, there is a little shrimp on the bottom, and uh, he's in flames. So I guess I should have. I guess I should have. Wow! Holy moly! That is like spice concentrate. Ha! Huh. Man! That absolutely kicked my tail. That was so unexpected. I think it I think it was made worse by the fact that I was not anticipating spice. Alright. Let's see if we can cool it down with some hedgehog forest gump. Hedgehog forest gump has, has brought me some pumpkin crisps. Puffed food. Give it a shot. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, interesting. It's like those uh, barbecue spiral lays. For those of you that have ever had those in the US. That's kind of what it looks like. Nah. Not for me. I really like pumpkin too. But that ain't for me. That ain't for me. It's like, it tastes kind of like, let's say you're making a pumpkin pie, okay? So you're making a pumpkin pie over here and you know how it's still got that like wateriness before you bake it in the oven? And you're eating barbecue chips, okay? And you accidentally, as you're eating barbecue chips, one of them just by a freak accident drops out of your hand into the pumpkin pie. And it's a good barbecue chip. It's a perfectly fine barbecue chip and you don't want to get rid of it, but it's covered in pumpkin pie filling. And so you take it out of the pumpkin pie filling, you try and get the pumpkin pie filling off, but you don't quite manage. And then you eat that chip. That's what I just tasted. Yeah. Not for me, chief. Not for me. All right, let's try some candy and then we'll wash everything down with some black currant juice. Ba -da -bow. Okay, we got an adorable little strawberry cream here. A little pochi, pochi strawberry cream. Very cute. Give that a shot first. Or should we start with the chocolate? Maybe we should start with the chocolate and then work towards the sweets. That would make more sense, doesn't it? That would definitely make more sense. So let's try this sweet potato Kit Kat. Sweet potato Halloween Kit Kat. Talking Hands is the is the name of this one. Talking Hands Kit Kat. Bada bing, bada boom. If you've never been to Japan, which I never have either, but I just happen to know that they have a lot of Kit Kat um, flavors in Japan. A whole lot more than we have over in the States. Okay, bottoms up to a white chocolate. I really don't like white chocolate, so this will be fine. This will be mid anyway. But sweet potato, white chocolate, Kit Kat. Ooh, it's like perfumey. Mm-mm. 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 No. No, 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 no. That tastes like a women's meeting at the church where there's all of the like 90 year olds that wear too much perfume. Too much eau de toilette. Wow. I mean, that tasted like I was walking through the JC Pennies. That that's what that tasted like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. That tasted exactly like a 12-year-old's makeup bag fell on the ground. <laughs> That's what that tasted like. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. That tasted that tasted like one of those novelty chapstick factories exploded. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm, tea, tea, please. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna be finishing that one. Uh, let's try some of these sweet treats. Next up, we'll try the strawberry cream. Why not? Oh, it's like a chewy. It's like a gummy. Interesting. I was kind of expecting like a pastry, but it's a gummy. Mmm. Oh, that's delightful. Well, delightful. Perfect way to, to, to finish follow up after that. Parfum. This actually kind of feels like chocolate, I'm not gonna lie. Blood strawberry. I think this might have been a chocolate. Whoopsie daisy. Well, it connects because this is a strawberry. I thought it was a high chew. I thought it was a high chew, and that's why they gave it to me in this packaging. No, it is certainly a chocolate. Oopsie doopsie. Yeah, this is a fancy chocolate with strawberry filling that I actually punctured. Punctured it here. Bottoms up. Wow. That is some strong strawberry. That's good. That's good. Better than a Kit Kat. Better than a Kit Kat for sure. All right. Trace mice. Let's see, we got some kind of apple treat here. Don't know what this is, but it has an apple on it. Oop, boop, boop. Let's see if I can get to focus. There we go. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Oh, it's like a, it, this is the high chew. Yeah, this is the high chew, 100%. Looks like a little a little lime high chew. Mmm, that's delightful. It's apple. Why would I think lime? Why would I think lime? There was literally an apple on the front. Think, Nathan. Use your brain. Hmm? All right, this is a little, little trick-or-treat, man. I think this is the color-changing one. And the reason I think that one is because of this. They're, they're changing colors on the back, yeah. Okay, the lollipop. Honestly, I might take the lollipop home to my to my daughter. I don't really need a lollipop, and um, it's pink. It's her favorite color, so she would love it. Yeah, I'll take that home to her. Okay, now for this little color changing man, and then we'll round up all the totals, and then we'll get into some Pokemon White. Yeah. Oh, sure enough, it's a little man. It's just a little. This is Dream, you guys. This is Dream before he did his face reveal. Hang on. Look at him. I'm gonna go play, play, play some Minecraft. I'm gonna go cheat in some Minecraft. It's not cheating. I don't know why Dream sounds like that, but he does in this version when he's little. When he's a little man. All right, let's see what color he turns into. Yeah. No red. Ooh, that's delicious. Takes a lot of work to get a candy broken down here. Still red. What is that flavor? It's a little bit like a cough drop. I forgot about back one. I might just save this one. I might just hang on to it. It's gonna taste like grape juice. That's what it tastes like. It's grape. This is grape, 100%. Still red. How's everybody doing? How's there? How's the weekend going? I know I saw Sneaky had to lurk. That's all good. Zando is having to lurk because nap time is not going smoothly. Feel that. Zargothos is working. Working, working, working. I feel that. This is a fantastic flavor, whatever this is. Still red. Always. Feel that. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Well, let's do our math now then. Let's go ahead and do our math while this is while this is happening. Okay. So remember this costs about $43 with shipping and handling. So between these three manga that I got, first off, they're all new, so they all count in my book. We've got $9.99 for uh, Ghost Reaper Girl. We've got $13.99 for uh, kimono kimono gin. 
and we've got thirteen ninety nine for Momo the Blood Taker. So that is a whopping twenty six plus ten is thirty six. Thirty six dollars, not tax included, not shipping included, just for the three manga up front, plus all these delightful little snacks and candy bag. Um, I'm gonna say worth it. I'm gonna say this one you're coming out even if not a little over top. If these are good, then you're really winning because um, this is three totally new things that I've never heard of before that now I get to learn about. Still red. I don't think this thing has changed colors. I don't think this thing has changed colors. I don't believe it. I am intrigued that one reads left to right, though. That is so baffling. It is changing colors. You see it? It's changing colors right at the end. Yellow? I think I might be changing to yellow. Yeah. Guy. Gotta be changing to yellow. That's it. Well, now you know. The little red guy turns to the little yellow guy. Now, apparently the rare, the rarest option is if he turns clear. Hang on. But we got the yellow guy. Which, of course, of course means whatever that says. It really is pretty tasty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unabashedly yellow. All right, I'm crunching in. Now that we know it's yellow, I'm gonna finish it so we can move on to Pokemon White. With that, I'm gonna turn it over to YouTube. Thank you everybody on YouTube for watching this video, for clicking on this. If you enjoy these Manga Spice Cafes, be sure to let us know by subscribing to the channel, liking this channel, and dropping some comments down below, letting me know that you enjoyed this video, that you wanna see more of these Manga Spice Cafes. Not that there's really any choice because I'm going to be opening them anyway. I love Manga Spice Cafe, and it's one of my favorite things. So please, please, Manga Spice Cafe, come on. What are we doing? Let's stop playing this game. Sponsor me already. Let's do it. I don't know if you want a church brand to be sponsored by you, but you know, it's whatever. I just love Manga Spice Cafe. I think you guys are super cool and I love what you're about. And I thank you for clicking on this YouTube video and finding out more about us. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right. God loves you. We love you. You matter. Bye-bye. Okay. What's up, Twitch? Now we're back on Twitch. Uh, which tea are you drinking? I'm still on that Irish breakfast. I am still on that Irish breakfast grind. I'm loving it. I'm all about it right now. Hey, let me know which one should I start with, chat? Which one, which one should be the first manga that I read? I gotta start a new one tomorrow morning. So which one am I starting? Am I starting Momo? Am I starting Kimono Gen? Or am I starting Ghost Reaper Girl? Which one am I picking up? I'll set it on the top of the list and I'll remember. Reaper, you like that artwork? The artwork is killer. All right, Ghost Reaper Girl it is. Go Super Girl is on top. Perf. All right, folks, we're going to move into some Pokemon's White, yeah? Play some Pokemon Black and White. Continue our journey. Zargathos, are you playing any Pokemon's right now? What are you working your way through? Have you ever played Pokemon White? I know you're I know you're a Poke fan, that's why I'm calling you out. Have you ever played White? I have never played Black White. I have never played Black Black White. Two. I've never played X and Y. Those are the three Pokemon games that I've never touched in my life, and I'm very excited to finally get to play them. So we're gonna pull it on up. Uh, I took a couple weeks off from my Omega Ruby and Nuzlocke. Got you. So that's what you're on right now, at least. Even if you're on on a, even if you're on a break. All right, let's let's bust out some DS. Boink. All right, Spoofy. Shh, Spoofy. Shh, Spoofy. Spoofy. I played Black and White late freshman year of college. Still have never played it. I, uh, the, whenever I got back into Pokemon was with Sun and Moon, and that was in my first year of Div School. All right, that looks crazy loud. Is it as crazy loud as I think it is? It looks very loud. It's 
pretty loud, I'm gonna bust it on down. I, I broke it in half. I broke it in half, how does that feel? Am I a little transparent? Interesting. No need for that. <gasps> a ghost! All right, let's get after it. Pocket mans! Uh, let's see if I can remember where I'm at first off. What am I working with here? Uh, my pocket mans are Brian, Hariyama, Datu, Dado, Doug, and Datuna. Looks like we got some all around level 10. All right. I missed X and Y, played Sun and Moon, missed Sword and Shield. I really enjoyed Sword and Shield. It's summer now, by the way. I know I beat these gym leaders, and I know I went over here with to do something with Muna. Did I finish over here? I think I just caught Muna, and that was the last thing I did. Yeah, I think I'm done. I know cut now. Planning on playing Scarlet and Violet on release. Yep, absolutely. That's what we're doing. We're going to be playing this up until that, and then on that Monday, we're going to start a campaign here at Checkpoint. For sure. Uh, full transparency, I will probably be playing the game myself also because I'm not sure if I can wait. Well, I mean, if our if our color scheme of Checkpoint isn't obvious, I think Checkpoint is going to invest in Violet. So that means I'll probably buy Scarlet. And so I'll play I'll play Scarlet on my on my personal and then we'll play Violet here. I presume I need to move on. I think I, I've done the Muna thing, and I think what's next is next. But again, this is all presumption. Find a great ball. Scarlet was my, the name of my first desktop I ever built. Scarlet was one of the names of my cars. I had a car named Scarlet. Or no, my wife had a car named Scarlet. The scientist Fennel was looking for you a little while ago. Well, where? Scientist Fennel was looking. Oh, I, I get it. 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 That's what I was doing. I was collecting dream dust or whatever. Now I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I just love the idea of Pokemon having wheels but being stubborn enough to still run everywhere, right? Yeah, that was pretty funny. That dragon. What's his name? Miraidon and Kunaidon? Kuraidon? 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 Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some dream mist, and now I can collect save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, I will give you the sea gear to use. The sea gear is device related to communication, such as infrared connection or Nintendo Wi Fi connection. What's Wi-Fi? No. Yes. If you want to turn on the C gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right of the screen. Then, after turning on the power, if you touch the question mark icon at the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the C gear. About Game Sync, I'd like to explain a little bit more about the system to collect trainer saves files. Do you have time to learn more? No, I don't care about this. I'm sorry. I'm so happy, so I will explain about it. Because, thanks to you, we can do a great thing. What? I said no! I said no! I said I didn't want to talk about this. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do what you're asking. Oh, trainer, thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is from me, please take it, don't be shy. The pal pad. You can register your friends in their pal pad. After you register, you can link with those friends over Nintendo Wi-Fi connection to do all fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge, blah, 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 Remember when all this stuff was just in the top of the Pokemon Center? Me neither. Goodbye. Goodbye, I'm not doing any of the Weefy stuff. Ain't nobody playing black and white anymore. All right, off we go. Route three. Okay. Yeah, I ran right into that one, huh? We're getting pretty close to where I where I last left off. 
I'm not in just chatting, right? I am in Pokemon Black and White. Yeah. Man, it is still just crazy loud to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it down on my speaker. That is just wildly loud. Hirayama! Ah, uh, they're dark type, aren't they? I actually need to go back through the old gachapons. We have we have several gachapons backed up. Got him. Got him. Well, I hope that everybody's weekends were good. I know I've heard Sneaky and Zargothos this weekend. Anybody else that's hanging out with us, I hope you had a great weekend, a great time. Ours was very long. As I've mentioned a couple of times on stream now, I won't dwell on it much longer than this, but our, our family is sick right now, and so that makes for a long weekend when the kiddos are sick. A long weekend indeed. We're getting into cozy mode. Cozy mode activated. Something about Pokemon games makes me just immediately go into cozy mode. We are very, very close to Scarlet and Violet. I'm so excited. It's the comfort nostalgia, and that's probably it. Or it's the hundreds of hours that I've spent on them sitting on my couch doing nothing. I distinctly remember laying upside down in my bed when I was like 10 playing Crystal. I have, I, the, the times that I remember playing Pokemon are in the car. Listening to Sexy Pack. Yeah. Is this daycare lady, I imagine? Do I have any Pokemons that are in the box? That's what was popular back then. I definitely did not listen to popular music. I had my sister LimeWire, like Weird Al Yankovic, onto, onto discs and stuff. That was what we did. Nope. No boxed pocket mans. Thanks, but no thanks, daycare lady. I'll have someone for you soon, I'm sure. The daycare? I definitely did not figure out how to get Weird Al myself. Well, that was, uh, I wasn't, we didn't have internet. <laughs> my, my sister had internet at college and it was like, what you mean? You could get music from the world wide web. How's that even possible? For real though, I'm so excited for the Al the Al Yankovic movie. Weird, an Al Yankovic story. Very excited. I've loved that bit ever since the college humor days. I was a sophomore in high school when Straight Outta Linwood came out and I was never more popular than when I memorized White and Nerdy. I don't know how old I would have been whenever White Nerdy came out. I did I did invest in several Weird Al CDs. I now have the whole discography, but it wasn't until I found them at FYE that I was able to make that happen. We're not doing a Nuzlocke, by the way, for anybody that hasn't already ascertained that I'm not stressed about the fights. Rest assured, I'm not just crazy confident. Yikes. Oh, come on! For real? Well, I'm glad these children are here because I clearly need to grind some. 
I got some work to do. My pocket mans are weak. Scratch. Oh, come on! This lily pup is invincible! Lily pup is sturdy, seriously. I will let the two. I have no intention of actually keeping Pan Sage on my team, but. We'll let him enjoy his time for now. Oof. That's why. That right there is exactly the reason why Pan Sage will not be remaining on my team very long. That is what a super effective Lick did. Now I know Lick is pretty low, pretty low in the power, but it's better than that. Pan Sage is so weak. All three of those monkeys are just pushovers. Come on, three in a row? Oh no. What are we gonna do? Watch this pitiful lick. That is embarrassing. Even with defense curl, that's embarrassing. The two, you should be ashamed of yourself. Not a single paralysis. Still, still no paralysis. How many times has that been? Just not very lucky. Uh -huh. Nope. I think I got Unamas. Nope. Don't have Unamas. Let's see. Haryama, do you think you can survive a round with a bite? Watch Haryama take it down in one bite. Haryama, I'm sorry. Ah, two. Two. I thought it might be in one. Meanwhile, Pan Sage used, what, like 25 licks? Embarrassing. Let's go heal. Heal it up. It is October 3rd. For any of my fellow weebs out there, it's Full Metal Alchemist Day. Don't forget. I did post on our on our TikTok. Uh, out of sense. Years and years and years ago, got me a replica of Ed Elric's State Alchemist watch. Remains to be my prized possession. Let us do this. It looks like these are going to be a twofer, maybe. Or is it just one? Hipsy! I think it was just one. Fooey, I thought they were going to be twins again. Doyle! 
Ain't nobody naming their kid Doyle. Got any Doyles out there? If your name is Doyle, let me know where your family name came from. Who who passed down the name Doyle to you? I was about to be irate if I got po uh, paralyzed on the first go with, with Lick. Come on, Brian. What's up, Chovy? How we doing? How was your weekend? Welcome to the stream. Pokemon, always. Always with the Pokemon days. Sand attack is pretty useful. <coughs> let's see. I'd rather have that than pretty much any of these, honestly. Uh, let's have it instead of Growl. <laughs> Weekend was good. How about you? How's it going? Weekend was pretty good. Weekend was pretty good. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Our, our youngest is sick right now, and so we didn't get a lot of sleep this weekend, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm surviving. I'm alive. Uh, I'm alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic. I'm alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic. I'm awake, alert, alive. I'm alive, alert, awake. I'm awake, alert, alive, enthusiastic. Nope, not what I want to do. Not this. Awesome. Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. But yeah, gotta get into that Pokemans. Are you excited, Chubby, for Scarlet and Violet? Are you gonna be playing? Me getting into it. Being here, doing it, surviving are all important parts of being a live Lord Awake enthusiastic. It's true. It's true. You can't deny it. I would I would implore you to try. Can't do it. Impossible. Welcome, maybe 30. How was your weekend? How are things treating you? Man, Incinerate is such a cooler move than Vine Whip. Incinerate? Wild. Flamingo? Is that a clip from Asia? Aw, oh, Doug! Doug, Doug, oh no, Doug, 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 Doug died. Weekend was exhausting because of off-schedule events, but I'm doing great now. Just got the pants in for my current cosplay project. I know you've told us, but remind me. It is, uh, it is, um, uh, what's his name from Demon Slayer? Yes? Yes, Tanjiro, as I called him in our original video. Tanjiro? Oops, lol. Cannot old man copy-paste apparent, but I am getting Violet. Oh, gotcha. You're getting Violet and very pumped for it. Awesome. Yep, we're getting Violet here at Checkpoint and probably getting uh, Scarlet myself. Little column A, little column B. Play my personal on Scarlet. That's how we did Diamond Pearl. How am I doing? Am I okay? Everybody just keeps getting wrecked immediately. How is Doug ever going to level up if he's dead? I need to alter the uniform jacket before painting on the kanji, get a white belt, and sew the haori, and then I should be done. That's super cool, man. I love it. My Deli Bird is cosplaying as a uh, character from Gargoyles in my first uh, Inktober this month. For those of you that don't keep up with my uh, my Daily Bird, hashtag Daily Bird, I draw a Deli Bird every single day of the work week. Um, but since it is Inktober, I'm drawing one that matches the Inktober prompts. And so I'm three in as we are three days into Inktober. And the first day was Gargoyle. And so I did uh, Deli Bird wearing cosplay of the main character. I think his name was Goliath. That doesn't sound right. One of the characters was named Goliath. But whatever the main character was uh, was from uh, Gargoyles is who Deli Bird is dressed up as. Uh, 
rather than just tell you. There you go. Deli Bird. He's dressed up as the main character from Gargoyles. You love it. Second day was um, Scurry. So I did Scurry. It's Scurry. It's Scurry. He's enjoying himself some Scurry. And then uh, day three was Bat. So I drew a little Zubat scaring him. He got scared. There we go. There we go. There we go. Satellite radio. Y'all getting hit from the boom boom. Wait, like Goliath from the 90s television animated show Gargles? Indeed. Ooh, Inktober. Chovy, if you're doing Inktober, you ought to post your uh, post your, your ink over to our uh, hashtag art only channel under Let's Get Creative on our Discord. We'd love to see and support your art. Yes. I thought his name was Goliath. I couldn't remember 100%. I have a weird amount of love for that show. We have a VHS-based board game for that show when I was a kid. Tell me more about a VHS board game. I'm interested in that concept alone. Does the VHS prompt what happens in the game? Like, if you pull, like, a card, does it, like, play scene three from VHS four? Fast forward to 33 seconds and... Or 33 minutes and 12 seconds to get the response to this one. Now, you've, you've really piqued my interest. But yes, we are participating, or I, I am participating in Inktober this year at least. If you're participating as well, then feel free to contribute over on the Discord. Exclamation point Discord in the chat if you aren't already in there. Yeah, basically it wasn't terribly complex, but it was super cool. Oh, you, are you kidding me? I've been, I've been going to the Pokemon Center this whole time. And she would have healed me the whole time. Guys are all just little boys. Hashtag relatable. They have a weird reflection on them, don't they? Ah, I just want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, that's all you say? I had to hunt you down. I had to hunt you down, and then all you do is just say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man alive. Whoa. Uh -oh. If it's cool to drop a link, I just found it on the capitalism machine. No, no harm, no foul here. Uh, I don't remember his voice. Check, stop. We both have a trio badge. Let's see which of us is stronger. Okay, Jaren. VCR board game. Intriguing. Fascinating, dude. Oh, the VHS is the game. Super curious. Recommended underneath it. Do you want to know what they recommended to me after seeing this VHS board game? Do you want to know the top recommendation? The VHS Tai Chi series. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to have a tough time taking down Charon, I'm not going to lie, because he's got level 14 right off the bat. I don't have any level 14s. His Oshawa is an awful lot stronger than me, Coffee Pot. That's one impression that I wish I could do. Crystalia is, uh, is fine. He's not really a super good person, but his Eminem impression is immaculate. And if I could do that, it would be delightful. Awful hot coffee pot. I should want with a coffee pot. Awful hot. Awful lot stronger than Brian. Brian's lying, crying on a... All my Pokemon are dying. If Brian doesn't cut to flying... It's so good. The cadence is what gets it. Purloin? This is fine. Please don't be a level 14. Yay, you weren't. Thank you. Ah, I thought about starting with Sand Attack. 
Fine. Looks like trouble for fr for Brian. Like he's flying from the frying pan into the fire. Going higher. Higher and higher. It's such a good bet. It's such a good bet. Got some Grogu. Grogu. I don't even know who Grogu. Used to be Baby Yodo. The man who flew off the handle. <laughs> Just keep it going. <laughs> is this going to be the Eminem stream? <laughs> Just the whole time. That bit is so good in my head. It just sounds so good. I don't know why I love it so much. So, um, if you're also on our Discord, and I know, I know maybe 30 Bats knows that. That's why I'm bringing this up. But I will ask your... Um, I'll ask for y'all's thoughts. So I am wanting to, I have one of those shower ideas for a video game that just like hit my brain. The concept, loved it, fell in love with it immediately. It was one of those where as soon as I got out of the shower, I had to text it to myself. Like write down everything, every idea that I had, the entire story. So I have an entire plot for a video game. Um, and so I'm excited about it. I'm enthusiastic about it. And I'll, I'll tell you as little as I can about it. But here's the thing. It is outside of the realm of Checkpoint Church. So I don't think it would make sense for Checkpoint to produce this game. I don't think it would make sense for Ludo Good to um, promote this game. Because it's not necessarily going to be the most family-friendly thing that has ever existed. Uh, and that may be okay, but it may not be. And so before I even like mention it to the, the Ludo Good community people, I think this would just be a, a personal project. Because of that, I'm wondering if it is appropriate or not to work on things on the Poke Monday stream. And the reason why it might be appropriate is that this is a tangentially related pocket monster game. So it's not necessarily a Pokemon game by any means. It's not a monster catcher, uh, but it will involve adorable monsters. And so I thought it could be fun to design the monsters on a stream and to have like a game dev stream. But if that's not a good idea, then I don't want to do it. If that's like crossing a weird boundary of like, this is Nerd Pastor Nate's personal projects happening on a Checkpoint Church stream. Like, is that a weird thing? But then again, everything is really, you know, my own personal stuff. Or no, I'm always curious about the boundaries that we lay in streams. I did it. Jerry scaring. I see. So that's how you battle. Who's this? Out of the way! What was that about? Bianca, why are you running? Hey, where were those people headed? That way, but... Why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast! Miss, oh, my Pokemon! It'll be okay, it'll be okay, don't cry! Only dads are allowed to make us cry. Not when people take our Pokemans. Bianca, Bianca, really, why were you running? You have to hear this. Those people stole this little girl's Pokemon. You should have spoken sooner. I mean, given how permeable the boundary kind of is by nature, I wouldn't have much against it. My question would be more along the lines of whether you think it's accomplishing the same thing that you're doing with the Pokemon Days concept. Well, Pokemon Days has been pretty flexible in the past, too. The real question is, do we only play games on Checkpoint? Are we a true blue variety streamer? Can we be a creative streamer? Or do we just play games? It's tough. Check. We're gonna get that Pokemon back. Bianca, please stay by the girl's side. Can uh can you can somebody can somebody heal me? Try it and see what the community response is. That's a good idea. Heal me. Well, and the truth of the whole thing, the truth of Checkpoint Church in general is that everything is one grand experiment. <laughs> but I think if your initial response is not like you gross, then that's encouraging. That in and of itself gives, is a good sign for me.
But I am very excited about it. <laughs> and the fact that I already have it all. I have it all written. I don't have the script written, but I have the entirety of the plot written. The whole outline was done. Literally, like, as I got out of the shower. Those are the best. Although pen to paper is always more of a- I meant to catch the pit up! I meant to catch the pit up. I didn't mean to destroy the pit up. Well, I'm planning on catching this pit up. If anybody wants to come up with a name for pit up in the chat, let me know what pit up's name should be. Doo, 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 doo. Zarg! You got it. Is it going to offend you if I don't use it very long? Because <laughs> I really have no interest in Unpheasant. But I will be using it until I get a better flying type. So you will exist for a little while. Uh, I could probably get another tackle. Uh, I'll just try and catch it. Not a fan. Full disclosure, under Trombone Dalek's influence, my stream has become a staunchly anti-bird stream. <gasps> Why? I love the burbs. These Pokemon live in cities. They are accustomed to people. Flocks often gather in parks and plazas. The tiny pigeon Pokemon. One foot tall and 4.6 pounds. Man, that is a light bird. Can you imagine seeing a one foot tall bird? That only weighs four pounds. I don't know. I guess I don't know bird weight. It's not very often I think about bird weight. Zarg. Whoops. To name your bird after me. Well, too late. Why does Trombone not like birds? Or does or does Tebow not like capturing birds? Maybe Tebow is a free the bird liberationist. I need more tea. I'm making more tea at 2:30. 2:30, a dentist's favorite time. Then I'll be making more tea. Kind of want to see who else can be caught right here. Oh, and I need to go get Pit up. What in the world has Dalek done with the birds? Exterminate! No, she, whether serious or not, was propagating the birds or fake conspiracy. Oh, I see. Well, we all know they work for the bourgeoisie. We all know. We all know that's true. He is a goofy guy. He was on a podcast not too long ago. The birds aren't real guy. It was interesting hearing his perspective on things. A fun fellow. I wasn't willing to fall too deeply down into that as truth, but we did adopt the anti-bird stance. Seriously, I think it was just a bit that got way out of hand. Oh, it was it was definitely a bit. I don't know if it got out of hand. I think it was exactly what he wanted to happen. Oh, I didn't realize it was a dark type. Oopsie doopsie. Yeah, it was a great lesson. Definitely meant to do it, and definitely got viral success from it. I always find it interesting the like connections. He had also started some other conspiracies here and there for fun, and um, it's always really interesting to realize like where people overlap. Like the guy that made Wordle, for instance, is also the same guy that created the R slash uh, Place on Reddit. He was the one that programmed that that allowed people to do that, and he has a couple other of like pet projects. And then you just realize that these people that you don't know their names, which granted we do know Josh Wardle's name because his name is so close to Wardle and he got just so famous, but like Place has been around for a while, you know, and got so viral for the Redditors. Particularly because anytime we encounter a flying type in Pokemon, my mnemonic is uh, for strength as weakness is what do we do with the birds? We throw rocks at them. That's funny. 
It is the best way to get them out of the way. Forget it. No, wait. No, don't give up. No, I want you to learn side beam. Forget it. Is Psy Wave stronger than Psy Beam? Oh, it never misses. No, it does miss. Why does it vary? Interesting. Why does it vary? Hm. Wait, like these people, well, these people have like whole lives that they live before they do the thing, whatever it is. I think that we sort of forget about that sometimes as a society. Yeah, everybody only gets one thing, maybe 30. Everybody gets one thing. Don't be selfish. Everyone is allowed to have one thing that makes them popular and liked and then nothing else. It's just the truth. It's just how it is. I don't make the rules, okay? Oh no, have I done my thing yet? Have I missed my chance? Right. Yeah, it does, it does every year that you don't do your thing. It does whittle down. Uh, let's see. Who should I get rid of first? Either Hariyama or Doug. Uh, bye, Doug. Fine. We'll raise Doug. Fine. I guess we'll raise Doug. Fine. All right, now we have Zarg. And then we're gonna do a quick save state because it's been a little bit. Save. Save. We'll raise Doug just as if he were our own. Fine, we'll do it. Fine, I guess we'll love this child. Please check, Team Plasma took that Pokemon, get it back. Well, look at all the things I have to do over here, though. They ran inside here. Check. Your Pokemon's HP is fine. You're ready to go, right? Yeah. Then let's go. Okay. 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 Check. This bothersome bunch doesn't really listen to reason. That child cannot use the Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now. Better yet, we'll just take them. <laughs> We're the bad guys. It's us, the bad ones. We're all secretly Sean White. Don't tell anybody, but we can really shred the gnar. Whatever you do, keep our gnar shredding to yourself. I swear if one person learns just how much I can shred that gnar, I'm out of here. I'll never let you live it down. Johnny Tsunami is a member of Team Plasma. <laughs> yep. Johnny Tsunami is also Sean White. Nobody knows. Don't tell anybody. You just do a slight Instagram filter to change that hair color. Boom. I always assume anyone on a snowboard is him. Agreed. That was another podcast I was listening to the other day, and uh, they were they were interviewing Tony Hawk, and t they were talking about, you know, Tony Hawk and Sean White are pretty good buddies, and uh, he was like, yeah, I was I was you know, whatever, out skating with Sean White the other day or whatever Tony Hawk says, whatever whatever a Tony Hawk would say, whatever a Hawk might say. Um, and the interviewer was like, what? Like Sean White skateboards. And I was like, yes, yes, he skateboards. Come on, come on. He skateboards. What do you mean? Sean White skateboards. Sean White will do anything that has a board and the ground or, or board and, and planes, board and planes. That's Sean White's life. I will afford for a shadow clone of Tony Hawk named Andy Bird. How can we lose when we have the right on our side? Not bad, Jack. Okay. Go return that Pokemon to that girl. You don't need to return it. Another one? How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot. 
There's two of you and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you that we are right. So there are more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self-righteous? Check! We've been friends our whole lives. We've got each other's back when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. No, no, that's not necessary. <laughs> we'll actually keep the things we stole. Hey, actually, though, I think we're going to keep those things we stole. Patrick. A couple of Patricks. You guys, don't let me forget a dentist's favorite time. Stolen, no, you see, this is mine now. This is how possession works. If you would just let us leave, that'd be great. If you could just let us leave with our things. These are ours now. Oh, they're doing bide. Oh, no. Whoopsie doopsie. We better hope we kill him. Good. Good job, us. We did it. Myrtle as maybe 30 bats would say. We myrtled him before he got the chance. I think I'm finally taking a pause on my Ace Attorney binge. My favorite alternative word for delifing someone. It's a delightful word. Did he do it? I think he did it. Uh, I'm taking a pause on my Ace Attorney binge. I was just going to binge through all of the games, and I've gotten to Spirit of Justice, and the reason I've been binging them so hard is because I can play them on my phone, and I really like that. But I got a new game for my phone, and now I'm going to try and play through Dragon Quest V, because I've never played that one. And apparently it's the best one. Apparently, I've never been on live television before. In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Do I'm having to slow down on them? I'm going to get back on them soon. Yeah, there are a lot of reading. There are a lot of reading. And that's coming for somebody that loves visual novels. Got to finish unpacking. Oh, yes! I'm so excited for you. Uh, whatever. What a waste of time. Come on. What reason could possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean trainers are po making Pokemon suffer? I don't get that at all. We'll give you back the Pokemon. But be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday open your eyes to your own complicity. I'm not bad. You are. I know you are, but what am I? Trainers bring out their Pokemon strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, check. I'll return the Pokemon. Okay. That's fine with me. I never said anything about it. They complained. What nonsense. How dare they say that we're wrong for thievery? Check, thank you so much. Two of you got our Pokemon back. I'm lucky to have a dad. I mean friends like you too. Thank you, mister. Please take these as a thank you present. Yeah. Ooh, those are heal balls. They completely heal the captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet of you. I'm gonna go see my dad. I mean this girl on her way. See you later, Check. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go heal, and then uh, maybe we'll go see if there are any some, some pocket mans to be caught over in the caves, yeah? Get ourselves our first rock type? That'd be nice. We could use a rock ground. I don't think Tepig, Tepig learns any ground type moves. It might. I'm pretty sure it grows into a fire fighting. But I could be mistaken. So I had this idea the other day. Uh, there's this thing trending right now on Tink Tank that is uh, from libraries. And the libraries are basically taking 
games that people love and giving them a book to read based off of that game. And my idea is what if we reverse that? Since we are Checkpoint Church, we're a church. What if we took uh, like scripture that people love and it's like, is this your life verse? If this is your life verse, then play this game and gave them like games to play that would evoke or be, be at least somewhat evocative of that like theme um, that is drawn out from the scripture. It's in my brain somewhere. I don't know what that'll turn out to be, but that's where I'm at. I always try to think about ways that we can hop on trends and work them in a way that is only applicable with us. How do we bring our gifts to the world, you know? Pit up? Do I have anything? Not really. Keep on working up to that Stoutland. But yeah, I do. I love the I love the books to game or the game games to book. It's a fun idea. I think so. I think so. It's I'm mulling it around. My issue with TikTok is that everything takes so much time. I do not have time to invest in TikTok. I'm doing all of these other things, and so to do something truly novel on TikTok takes forever. Well, thank you for the orange berry. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Everything okay out there? Oh, we might already have another flying type. I don't know. What is Wubat? Probably flying dark. Dark flying type. Not super helpful. That doesn't look like any kind of assurance I would want. Schmack, schmack. Anybody want to name Wubat in the chat? We got a name for Wubat? What's up, Toby? Ditto, ditto, ditto. Ditto, ditto, ditto. Wubat. <laughs> Taboo, I see what you did there. Why in the world? Why is this Wubat the hardest thing to ever catch? I don't really want to waste another Pokeball on it, but I'm going to. Ooh, we are in a cave. I'll save that for something better. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll. I guess we'll use our heal ball. Abba Moses. What in the world is going on with this Woobat? Why does this Woobat not want to be caught? Doesn't want to become a desert father. Why ever not? They were neat. They probably weren't weird or smelly. They were very neat and nice. Wild with the catch. Let's get it down to red. I think it'll take one more hit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Good job. No, no, woman, no crit. Here we go. You are in the red, Woobat. I swear if this doesn't catch you, I'm not sure you're worth it. Goodness gracious. Wubat the bad Pokemon. Psychic flying. Ooh. No, I do actually kind of like that. Hmm. That would allow me to take Muna out. Ooh. That's very tempting. Psychic flying is a cool type matchup. Suction from its nostrils enables it to stick to cave walls during sleep. It leaves a heart-shaped mark behind. That's pretty cool, actually. Well, we'll go with Abba Moses. Whoopsie. Wow, 
What? Nope. <sighs> so this emulator that I'm definitely not using, this DS that I'm using, uh, the A and the B are backwards, and I don't, I can't be bothered with re remapping. But it is the opposite of what I think it should be. Man, I'm so tempted to use that Pokemon. I do need more Pokeballs if I'm gonna wander in here anymore, so I need to go. There's no sense in just wasting my time in there. I need more pocket balls. I need it. Yeah, I know. He was a bandit and a murderer who fled to the desert and sought shelter in a monastery there. He came to Christ and eventually became a monk. The classic story. Ten minutes. Ten minutes until a dentist's favorite time, folks. We're so close to more tea. I'm so excited. Alright. Pokeballs, please. I would like to buy some Pokeballs. None of these. Jesus monks are the best monks. How many great balls do I have? Two. That'll be fine. Just in case we find something really cool. Potions. Now that we got a little money, spend it. You always want one escape rope. Just in case. JIC. Save state time. Save state time. Now, let's go see if we can get our... Oh, wait, no. Do I want to switch out Woobat? I don't know what I don't want to do. I don't know if I like Woobat or not, but I really like that flying psychic type. Because then I could get rid of both Datuna and Zarg and have a whole slot open for a rock type. Maybe let's see if we get ourselves a good rock type first, huh? Let's not rush things. I have Minute. Can I get my redemptions from like an hour and a half ago? Of course, Gachapon. I actually have quite a few Gachapons in front of you that I need to get through. Let's do our Gachapons. So we have several Gachapons in the way, so we need to make sure that we get all those out of the way. Okay, 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 okay. The first Gachapon is Pineapple Pope. The second one is Trombone. The third one is Zando. Thank you, Jerry. The fourth one is Jate. The fifth one is Bobber Claws. And the last one is Zando's. That literally just happened. Let's see. I will be fully willing to sacrifice the bird's place in the party with a rock. Right? Well, especially if I have a bat that serves as my bird. All right. First up is pineapple. Well, I'm not wanting to spit it out. Watch it be the Gotch King. No! Okay, Pineapple got the sub wheel. Need to write all this down. Ah, oh, missed it by that much, man. T-Bone got lose the glasses. Very appropriate for T-Bone. Oh, that one broke into pieces. Um, sub wheel. Mark through T bones. Zando, your first one is 
A Dragon Ball. Dragon, Dragon. Rock the Dragon, Dragon Ball. Wow. It's the one star. One star Dragon Ball for Zando is the first one up. Love it. All right. Mark through that. Now we're on to Jate's. Jate got... Gamba. Jake got a Gamba. Um, we'll probably wait for him the next time he pops around. Try to remember that he got a Gamba. He normally hops in at least at least every other week, if not every week. Next up is Bobber Claws. I hope Bob comes back and join us. We may have to play more one shot. Another lose the glasses. Two lose the glasses in a row. And then finally, we're caught up. So now we can do Zandos. If I can get my quarters, my quarters together. Maybe 30 says, Abba Moses is actually a really fascinating guy. When bandits came to raid the monastery, he sent the rest of the monks away so he could try to reason with them. Also had really great teachings on forgiveness. That is gnarly. They're all fascinating people. There's no doubt about that. Broken and fascinating and interesting. Zando, it is a celeb reads poetry. Celeb reads poetry. So go ahead and pick a celeb while I pick out your movie movie game. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Zando, your movie movie game is a grizzled boxing instructor takes on a promising young girl who loses to a chair and makes Bette Midler sing Wind Beneath My Wings. A grizzled boxing instructor takes on a promising young girl who loses to a chair and makes Bette Midler sing Wind Beneath My Wings. I would have gotten the first one. I probably wouldn't have gotten the second one here. I know the second one, but would I have gotten it from the get-go? Probably not. Who loses to a chair is very funny. <laughs> sad. Very sad. Makes me very sad. But very funny. Uh, and you said a Morty? Sure, why not? Uh, this is a... a Non-copyrightable Justin Roiland character um, reading the poem Reverse by Nor Unahar. Let's turn off Spoofy. Or no, we need to pause. Boink. Need to turn back on Spoofy. Whoopsie. Spoofy. Don't want you guys seeing Spoofy there. Um, some piano ballads. <clears throat> okay, so this is a Justin Roiland character um, performing... New, Nor Unahar's Reverse from a collection uh, titled New Names for Lost Things. Crank that back up a little bit. <clears throat> Here's what I want to remember. Reverse is a beautiful motion, bringing a body back to its origin point. The same way death returns to a body where it came from. Old dust to the new dust. My wants are becoming unwants. Here is what I want to remember. Reverse is a motion that brings everything back except the dead. Thank you. That was a Justin Roiland character performing Reverse by Nor Unahar's collection, New Names for Lost Things. <clears throat> okay, back. Here we go. Back to Desmond May. Doop -a -doop -a -doo, pow. Doop -a -doop -a -doo, pow. Million dollar babiches. You got it. Million dollar babiches. Babiches. Chats in the clap for Zando. Killing it. Loses to a chair is real cruel. Horrible movie combination. <laughs> Cursed. Cursed movie combo. I'm going to go heat up my tea water for uh, tea. Yes, yes. Breakfast tea. We got some more Irish breakfast coming at ya. 
Okay, okay, okay. Gotta run again. It's a wacky morning and afternoon. I'm so sorry, Zando. I know that feel. I know that feel. If it makes you feel any better, it's been a it was a rough weekend at the Webb household, so I do I do feel ya. I do feel ya. Hmm, excuse me. Wellspring Cave. So I just want to make sure you discovered this cave, right? Yeah, yeah, I found this cave. Uh, it's great. Seems seems like a really good cave to have near the village. I think it's it's gonna be great. And you said you found a water source in it. Well, yeah, yeah, I found some water. And you said it was a lake. Well, uh, spring. Well, it's a spring cave. Well, actually, well, it was a, it was a spring cave though. Brilliant. We'll call it Well Spring Cave. Thief. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Come on, there's gotta be a rock boy in here somewhere, dude. Matchmaker, matchmaker, show me a rock. I need a rock to fight flying things. Oh no. Oh no, I have a meeting. I forgot about it until right now. Oopsie doopsie. It's probably over by now. Oops. That's one of those uh, pale chill down the back. Hey, when that happens, I did that with a Bible study I was leading a couple weeks ago. Oof. Yeah, this one at least I'm just a participant in instead of a leader of. But I've definitely done that as well. Definitely done that. And now the feng shui is going to be all messed up. Well, I'll reach out and apologize soon. Hopefully we can have a one-on-one. -on -one. One-on-ones are always better anyway in the long run. You know what's really weird though? That is actually not the second time that that exact situation has happened to me, but that's the second thing that hasn't lined up correctly on my schedule in the past three days. Which is really, that's what's weird. That we would have back-to-back -back things that are just not quite right. Not quite the right timing. Speaking of charge conferences that you're working on, Zargatha, that's what always happens. Is it's always around this season. Rog and Rolla. That isn't who I want. Is there a better rock type? I don't really want Rog and Rolla. I guess I'll catch him. I need a rock. I don't really care for rock and roll. Uh, sorry, I had an ad break. Missed the lead into. That's when it always happens. Oh, it's during charge conference season. Um, because there's like a million things happening. And so you're just like accepting one meeting after another. That's when it always happens to me. I'm trying to get this to focus. Does anybody have a name for our unwanted rock boy? We've got a bit of a possible transition happening in the next year, so I'm not really putting a lot of stock into the NOM com committee reports this year. Oof. I hate that. Rock and Rolla, the mantle Pokemon. 
They were discovered in uh, 100 years ago in an earthquake fissure. Inside each one is an energy core. That's pretty rad. That time, that's pretty rad, though. He's got an energy core inside him? My boy's a mech? That's, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Any name ideas before I try to come up with something? No? Nothing? Okay. Here's my idea. Since he is an unwanted rock boy that uh, also has an energy core inside of him, he is Gundam. Gundam! Similar boat here. Stringy populations mean few positions we're filling right now on a streamlined one board model are actually kind of hard to fill. That is interesting. The one board model typically was supposed to make things easier. So if it's even shrinking for the one board, that is stressful. Yeah, we were on the precipice of doing that at the, the church I was serving before this. We were contemplating whether one board model would make sense. It basically already was. They just didn't acknowledge it. My church doesn't quite know this yet, but we're but we're giving a coach that is possibly going to be transitioning. Oh man. It is tough. Those conversations are always very stressful. Is there no other rock? I really don't want rock and roll. <laughs> but he's going to help me so much. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. You're right. Smaller churches basically under are already operate under a one board SAS model, but still latch themselves onto the committee council framework. Yeah. It's what they know. It's just like having multiple Sunday school classrooms. No little church needs multiple Sunday school classrooms anymore. It's just meetings, meetings, meetings instead of ministry, ministry, ministry. I mean, at least they both start with an M. That's something. All right. I don't think we're going to find ourselves another rock. Like a rock. It's been four minutes. Ooh, electric horse. A zebra, Nathan. It's obviously a zebra. <laughs> Why would I call it an electro horse? It's obviously a zebra. It's so clearly a zebra. Thankfully, we get along without very many meetings. I pitched our organizational structure as fast and light, and we've stuck with that. That is huge. Prove to me that a zebra is an electro horse. I mean, you're not wrong. But why say many word when few do the trick? All right, what's Blitzel's name, folks? Because I will definitely have Blitzel on my team. Probably getting weird. Probably getting rid of Pansage. One of my three churches has a mentality that everyone is a member of the church council. Woof! Woo! Yikes! <laughs> That's tough, dude! <laughs> yeah. Every admin council meeting is like a little mini charge conference. That's very stressful. Blitzel, the electrified Pokemon. When thunderclouds appear over the sky, or when thunderclouds cover the sky, it will appear. It can catch lightning with its mane and store the electricity. That is two foot tall. All right, if there are no other names, then I think Electro Horse is what it's got to be, right? He's a baby. He's a baby! I'm just a little baby. Oh, Electro Horse isn't going to fit. Hurts? Hurts it's got to be because Electro Horse is not going to work. I like Hurts. We'll pick you up. Cool. 
we got a little we got a whole we got a, a whole party now look at us we got things to change dude if only i could find if only i could find a rock pokemon that i like there's got to be a better rock pokemon in this game got to be i can't wait to get rid of the two the worst look at that i am three levels the whole party are members of the Pokemon Council. Man, it stressed me out just whenever you said uh, three churches. Three three point charge is so stressful. And yet you do not grant the rank of Pokemon Master. This is unfair. That was my Anakin impression. It's as good as it can get. I have not worked on my Hayden Christensen in quite a while. And by quite a while, I mean ever. Rare? Nope. I still need to watch the Obi-Wan fan edit movie. Is that of the show? Somebody made it into a movie? Then you indeed do. I enjoyed Obi-Wan. I thought it was fine. Um, I did, I will say, I won't spoil anything, but folks that are looking forward to Rings of Power or are watching Rings of Power, episode six, episode six will go down as kind of a, a, a peak of that show. Someone edited it down to a two and a half hour movie. Very nice. As all things should be. I gotta be real. I have I have uh, started to seriously dwindle on my She-Hulk watching. My hot take on She-Hulk, I've said it before, I'll say it again, is that they need Mindy Kaling writing the show. They need they needed her. I don't know whose publicist messed up, but the fact that they do not have Mindy Kaling on the writing team is atrocious. She would have made that show so much better than it has been. Even if you enjoy She-Hulk, you have to admit it would be better if Mindy Kaling had written it. She's funny. The Mindy Project was hilarious. No, I want I want to no, I want to I want to withdraw, please. Thank you. There we go. There's a little too much Marvel comedy writing trademark happening there. Mindy is a great comedy writer. Yeah, the situation is what she does so well. And they haven't written any actually like funny situations. The situational comedy is what what Mindy does well. Everything feels so partitioned off. You can tell there's so much more to be given by the actors that they're given the opportunity to work into. For sure. Then they're given. Yeah, the, the actual, like, the She-Hulk actress is phenomenal. The rest of the cast is okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ride their coattails too much. But the She-Hulk, Tatiana, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? I can't remember. She's great. Okay. Ooh, what do they have? What do you have? You didn't tell me you had an item. A cherry berry. And an Everstone. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's continue our, our journey then. Let's continue our Pocket Man journey. I don't even remember what time we started Pokemon. Was it was I was I half hour in? I still feel so bad about missing that meeting. I'm totally thrown. Totally thrown by that right now. That sounds about right. I think so too. I really thought I would have caught up to where I played last time by now, but I have not. It throws the whole day off, right? You get in this mental headspace. I don't know if that's a, just a human being thing or if that's an overthinker thing, but it is one of those things that just gets in your brain. And it's like a, it's like an earworm, but evil. Irish tea I just cannot get enough of. 
Yeah, catatonic for an hour. It really does. It throws you into a stasis. <laughs> nice. Now we need to switch somebody out. Let's let Abba Moses do a little work. Immediate. Immediate work. Have I seen a worm yet? Have I seen a single bug type yet? Isn't that interesting? What bugs are even in this game? Sea Waddle? Is Sea Waddle Gen 5? Sounds right. Sawaddle? He's sawaddling around. I've been off kilter for a couple of weeks, honestly, slowing back on track. That is the worst. It really is. It's. It feels so. Uh, I don't know. It feels like every day. Some. Whenever I get in those those slumps, like you're like trying so hard to get yourself realigned, and then you just like you look up at the clock and it's like seven o'clock at night and you're like, well, there's an entire day. I've made no headway on on getting myself back on track. Ugh. Totally feel it. A nightmare. I feel for you. Been there. I will be there again, I'm sure. It's one of those things, and I'm not speaking for anybody else here, but it's one of those things where I I know that um like I know personally about me that I don't suffer from um any kind of lack of, of dopamine, serotonin, any of that stuff. I don't have a clinical depression. Um, I don't have any of that that I'm dealing with. But there are still moments in my life that are like absolute slumps that some people deal with on a biological level and need to be medicated for. But they just happen sometimes in life to people that aren't afflicted with that. And uh, it really is a nightmare. But I feel so entitled to complain because I really don't have to deal with it often. And I'm so thankful that I don't. But then whenever it does happen, I feel guilty complaining about it. Shook it out late in the day it was. I had the ADHD or miracle happen over the past few days where my hyperforce, hyperfocus, hyperforce. Your hyperforce, maybe 30. My hyperfocus is getting uh, my domestic life in order. When it hits, it hits. Yep. Check stop. The dark tall grass over there. Every now and again, two Pokemon will pop out at the same time. Well, that's pretty rad. In other words, you have to be careful in the darker grass. I'm heading out to Nacreen Nacrene City. Okay. Cool. What you got it, dude? Well, no, he doesn't need to grind. Let's swap Brian and Hirayama. So it's a twofer, but it's just the same old, same old twofer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Now that I've said it, I'm gonna propose that I think you should probably start calling it Hyperforce because that just sounds really cool. Hmm. The next time you have a hyperfocus, um, yeah, Hyperforce is what it feels like. You got to start calling it that. I love Hyperfocus, Hyperforce these days. I discovered that I my my best mental health days are and again I'm not somebody like I even feel bad saying that I have good mental health days because that feels like such a thing that people have to own. Uh, but my best mental health days are whenever I exercise, and it doesn't even have to be like exercise exercise, but it just has to be walking. Days and whenever I go on a slump and I don't go on a walk for a couple days, that's whenever I feel the worst. But once I go once I start walking again and get back on like a healthy exercise routine, boom. I'm instantly in that hyperfocus routine. Got all my dishes and laundry done, and my room is actually clean for once. Someone who is chronically not mentally well, everyone has permission to talk about their mental health. And I know that. And I know it, but I try to be so sensitive. The I think the the perpetual 
crisis of the internet and of everyone talking about themselves all the time is that the more empathetic people want to not <laughs> be overwhelmingly like talking about themselves but everybody does have a right to discuss their own personal journey and what they're working with and what they're working through and while we shouldn't make claims for other people's existence we need to claim and own our own and talk about our own struggles and issues but i think that's the, that's the issue is that everybody's talking about it all the time it's so once you find a safe a safe place where you can talk about it in an adequate way that is appropriate um we're so hesitant to do so anyway It's a curious thing. A very curious thing. Do I have a team that's adequately ready to fight you? I do not. Let's put Gundam and Hertz up there. That's exactly why my private Twitter account exists. Needing to vent without most of my friends checking on me is very important to my well-being. That is incredible. Having a space like that sounds really important. Yeah, I my my latest tweet was um, Twitter recently updated and now shows me views on my tweets. So it shows me how many people saw a particular tweet. And uh, I want to find out how to turn that off because I don't want that at all. I don't want that feature one bit because Twitter is not for them. <laughs> Twitter is not to be seen. Twitter is for me. Twitter, I, I treat Twitter by its original intention of being microblogging. I need as few metrics exactly. I don't want to know anything about that tweet. I pray that I never have a tweet that goes viral. I don't want that. Not on Twitter. Twitter is my safe space where I I don't I don't give a toot as the guy on TikTok says. Twitter is the Kmart parking lot scream fest of the internet and I need that to be maintained. Exactly. You get it. I propose that if Twitter updates and changes and keeps doing these metric changes and shifts, then we just go start uh, Kmart scream fest. A new app coming to the app store near you. Kmart Screenfest. Presented by Bats and Nerd Pastor Dan. A uh, maybe 30 uh, maybe 30 apps production. <laughs> Love it. Kmart Screenfest. No one can or wants to hear you. And that's the point. As someone who follows professional wrestling, I can absolutely say that Twitter is a cesspool echo chamber of angry people. And I love it. Twitter, ironically enough, is probably my favorite social media platform. It's the one that I scroll through. I don't scroll through any other social anymore. Ever since working in them, like ever since being a professional social media-er, Twitter is the one that I use for personal fun. The rest of them are all, they all feel like work. Instagram disgusts me. It's work. Facebook has always disgusted me. TikTok concerns me. Twitter's so weird for me because my two sides of Twitter are one I super belong to and the other I definitely don't belong to. <laughs> Rock Blast. Yeah. Uh, you don't need Harden. You'll be fine. It is a bizarre place. Now we'll leave out Gundam. Gundam! I'm on the back side of theology Twitter, so I see all the people connecting on the di or commenting on the discourse, and the other side is queer science fantasy fandom. I stay off of theology Twitter as much as I can. Theology Twitter does not like me. So I stay out of there because 
I'm I'm asking for a fight if I even enter those domains. They see one word about digital church. I might as well have an upside down cross on my Twitter page. I'm the great desecrator. I don't comment on anything there begging for a fight. Exactly. Well, even I don't even if I don't comment. They find me. Nobody cares about my hot takes on video games, but once I say one word about digital church. Ixnay. Ixnay on the church, eh? Oh, why didn't I do Rock Blast? Silly. I felt that way even while in seminary. Can't imagine what it's like in a digital medium where the one-on-one -on -one is removed. Well, I honestly never felt like there was really a one-on-one. -on -one. Not in regards to the conversations that I was talking about. Nobody ever wanted to sit down and talk about digital church. They only ever want to attack. I'm a relative social media ghost apart from at this point just self-promotion. Yep. Hence why I like the mediocrity of myself on Twitter so much. Because I get to tell my thoughts and opinions and odds are not get noticed. And that's why I don't want any metric. Because I don't want to be noticed. I don't want to fall into the temptation of working towards being noticed. I don't want the incentive of having more hundreds of people view this tweet than less hundreds of people. No, thank you. No, thank you. The only social media stuff I consistently create anything on is Discord and Twitch. That's all I do. Everything else is just passive consumption. That's also definitely a way to do it. What I find so interesting, though, and especially since you mentioned Twitch, is that it surprises me the amount of people that treat Twitch and Discord as forms of passive consumption. Because I can't. Like, I can't imagine, uh, and this is no shade on any of our lurkers, I appreciate all of you lurking, but that is something that I cannot do. If I watch a Twitch stream, I'm engaging in the Twitch stream. I cannot not comment. I can't just sit and play a game and watch a Twitch stream. If I'm watching a Twitch stream, I have nothing else that I'm doing, and I'm commenting and talking and hanging out. But I have no problem consuming in other places. But that is not one of them. Come me for a second. Okay. That's like the point of the of my Twitch viewer experience is being able to reach out through the internet and talk to a person. Yep, I agree. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center. And uh, use these if you want. Chesto Berries, thank you. Give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry to hold. Then, if it ever falls asleep, it'll wake up immediately. How weird would that be? That That's the one that doesn't make sense to me. You fall asleep, and you happen to eat a berry that you know wakes you up. How would the Pokemon know? Normal type. Interesting. Hmm. A normal type gym leader. I don't really have anyone that can adequately square off. Rub the berry on their gums and the extreme caffeine wakes them up. But how would they know to wub, to wub, how would they know to wub the caffeine on? How would they know to rub it on? If they're asleep, do I know Audino? What did you just say? When you, it gets a lot of experience, why? Audino gives more experience points than others. They're holding their mouth like chewing tobacco. <laughs> oh no, it's like the suicide pill. It's like the suicide tooth. <laughs> they just bite into it. That's hilarious. Um,
007. Your mission, if you choose to accept it. Cyanide Dentist will be a great metal band. Absolutely agree. No thanks. What's up with you guys? Cool. Anybody have anything they want to give me for free? Anybody have any free things they want to give me? Do you want to give me a free thing? Can you give me a free thing? Oh, cool. I got some charcoal. Thanks. Thanks for the charcoal. Okay, I think I've done all the work I can reasonably be expected to do today. That is an important place to be. To acknowledge, to know. Finished up planning the next seven weeks. Wow. Holy moly. Seven weeks. I can't even imagine seven weeks, man. Petalil? I do not, but I can get a Cottony. That's good to know. Yeah. Loblolly? Loblolly. Loblolly. Whoa, Loblolly. Blam a damn. Did that television just talk to me? Like Loblolly Pines? I have no idea. I've never heard that term. I'm uh so I'm playing in my brother's wedding here in the next couple weeks, playing guitar. And I have not played the guitar in so long that my calluses have gone away and I'm having to build them all up again. And it hurts so bad. To have gone from playing guitar consistently for like 18 years and then just stopping Ain't good. 18 is an overshot. Let's say 15 years. I'm not that old. Aging myself even more than I need to. Come back here, come back here, come back here. Hello! Come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here. Come back. Hello! Yes. Cool. Well, it ain't Wednesday. It never will be when we play this. So I guess I just don't get whatever she has to offer. Wait. Wait, where was the gym? No, I'm back consistently every day. That sounds really nice. I wish I were back in it every day, but I am playing every day right now purely for this wedding so that I can learn the songs. It's killing me. I am so confused. Where is the gym? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's right there. You goofy Gus. Oh, I remember this gem. Oh, I remember this gem. Hey, in. What's up, buddy? Be there in no time. Just you know, be careful about tendonitis. Don't give me other problems in my in my old age, my ancientness. I want to see things no one can see. The truths of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be, and a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Sure. That's so. I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Just saying, if I go too hard, I get a little of it in my fingertips. Oh no. I can't say I've experienced that. Oh, I don't. I used to have some carpal tunnel back in the day. But never any tendonitis.
What a great start. Perfect time for Gundam. Two hits, baby, two hits. Gundam don't play games. Temple. I will switch my pocket mans. No carpal tunnel for me just yet, thankfully, but I'm going to be teaching guitar again here soon, and we'll see how I do. Yeah, my carpal tunnel came from, came from writing so much. This was when I was very young. But it was back in the, in the olden days of writing the mirror mural for the first time. What's up, Wit? Thanks for your lurk. Appreciate ya. I saw that you've been... Oh, well, you're lurking, but I see, I've seen you've been playing uh, Gloomhaven, and I know nothing about Gloomhaven, and I found it very interesting. I've thought about hopping in a couple times, but mornings are also whenever I work the best. So I see Wit streaming in the morning, and I'm like, I would love to go check out Gloomhaven, especially since everyone got it for free. But mornings, I'm so productive. Oh, that's the secret sauce about why we do checkpoint streams in the afternoon. Because my brain, my brain doesn't need to be creative right now, and so I can just play games and hang out and chat. Enjoy time with peeps. Are we really going to die right now? Come on, crit. Nope. Dunzo. Sorry, buddy. Brian! Brian with a Y. Clutch it. Clutch it, bud. Don't get don't get confused. Good job. Nah, come on, clutch it! Are you serious? That's the second time that's happened during the stream. First with that lily pup and now with Temple. What's up with these non-sturdy, sturdy Pokemon? Please don't do it. Ah, I said don't do it. I said don't, you did the one thing that I asked you not to do. There was only one thing I said not to do and you did it. You done did it. Hmm. Twice, you done did it twice. Well, we might be down. Man, Brian, you had it, dude. Brian, you had it if it didn't have Sturdy. If it wasn't the one temple to ever have Sturdy. Let's try and get Hertz out there. Hertz will get full points for somebody four levels above it. That's pretty nice. Honestly, that works out. It works out just fine. Hopefully learns a lightning move. Nope. All right, Timber. Unfortunately, the one that would have been best at taking you down is dead. So I guess we'll send out Ditto. We'll hope for the best. If Timber isn't a beaver with coffee, I quit. Then I'm afraid you're going to have to quit, my friend, because he's a disgusting Machop clone. He's the worst. What's up, Reverend Taco? How we doing? How was your weekend? He's a disgusting Akira, weird muscle nerve tendons poking out of his head Machop clone. That just canonically carries around a piece of wood. He's just got himself timber. Harlequin Machop. He's real gross. He's real gross, and he only gets worse. Gert, that, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say what I thought the next one was because I'm not so sure it isn't a, a profanity that slipped into my brain. Loved it. Wonderful trip. Oh, my goodness. Did you get rained out entirely, Reverend Taco? Did you have any time that you got to enjoy beyond the rain? Uh, I don't need Odor Sleuth. 
He's pretty gross. Yes, love the rain, though. Well, I know you mentioned that you loved the rain, but I don't want you to just have rain. But I'm glad that you enjoyed your trip. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that'll change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Now that doesn't sound as healthy as the other things you've said. Now I know what power I need. Reshiram. The legendary Pokemon that along with the hero created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Cool, you seem fine. You seem well, as a matter of fact. You seem well. You seem like somebody that's got it. All the, all the boxes checked. If I had to describe you, I would describe you as boxes checked in. Firing on all cylinders in. That's you. <laughs> well, that is good, Reverend Taco. We're glad you're back with us. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Had a good trip. Oh, well, this isn't the gym. Whenever I look at this skeleton, I'm fascinated. Welcome, I'm Hawes, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. This skeleton is of a dragon-type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an accident while it was flying around the world, so it became a, a fossil. <laughs> Just say it died, dude. <laughs> Weird way of putting it. This rock is amazing. It's a meteorite. It's called a bogling ball. It, it contains some kind of energy from space. Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert. But other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't have, have any value. We only display it because it's rather pretty to look at. Okay, this is the worst museum that has ever been. The Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. Oh, okay. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, the Nora, happens to be my wife. <laughs> my wife! He should have had a Borat voice the whole time. Also, bad tour. You still have multiple things left that you didn't show me. You had the time to show me an unimportant rock, but you didn't have the time to show me the other fossils? Sir. Sir, you're a bad guide. I'm not a guide here. This is just my wife's. Pokemon gym where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of the museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So I'll give this to you. Thank you. Thanks for the water. Ah, I see. Do I have to answer the questions or can I fight the trainers? Just get through. Because I love the grind. Let's see if I actually need a fighting type. I ain't buying it. You know, I think it would be cool to have power-ups for the trainer. Like get the trainer bonus action or something. That would be cool. I'd love to see the trainers more involved at all, in fact. That was why I enjoyed um, Arceus so much. It was one of the things that they did right. Involving the trainer more than ever before. Still weren't really involved in the fighting mechanic, but definitely more involved in the rest of the world. 17? That's pretty tough. That's a tough boy. I might need to go grind. Because that's a pretty tough boy right there. That is a tough level 17 boy. Stop detecting my headbutt. Stop detecting it. Just take the hit. Just take the hit, Patrick. Just take the hit, buddy. Stop detecting it again. Another one. Don't detect it again. Okay, good. Good. Just kill me instead. Perfect. Perfect. No, that's cool. No, that's cool. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, let's at least let... I guess let's let Abba, Abba get the points here.
All right, well, let's go and maybe do some grinding. Unless there's another fighting type other than other than uh, timber, though, I don't know if I'm going to be going with the fire uh, fighting type. Because I don't care a thing about timber. Oh, sleepy. By the way, folks, if you haven't had the chance to watch Intergalactic, might I recommend it to you? Especially if you are an adult. Probably don't watch it with a child, or if you are a child. As it is quite, um, quite the love story. So it may not be appropriate for viewing of younger eyes. But it was a delight. If you like Kid Cudi. Ooh. That's a fighting move. Do I have any way they can learn that? It's a weak fighting move, but it is a fighting move. Oh, like any of them can learn it. Holy moly. I swear I think he learns. I swear I think that Tepig is a fighting type. Let's lay Goog. Let's lay Goog. Embor. Yep, firefighting. So there you go. I'll teach it to him. Oops. Let's do it instead of Ember. No, we don't need to tell it. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. We got ourselves a fighting type. Is she going to have a chance and be the um, Nurse Joy? Yep. Neat. Oh, I'm not Chansey, though. I'm Muna. I think they're going to be able to one-hit me. What does that mean? Sealed my moves. And baby, if I compare you to a kiss from a rose, sealed your moves. Do you get it? Because my name is CEO. Do you know Luna can seal up your moves and you'll never know what that means? Ba -na 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 you will never know what that means. Wow! Come on! I just wanted those free points! We're risking it for the biscuit. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Yeah, hurts. That a boy. That a boy, dude. Very nice. Very nicely done, hurts. And they didn't even let you level up from that. Shame on the game. Shame on you, Pokemon. Five levels different. Five levels. He took him down all by himself. Whenever it would have made so much more sense for him to have just been obliterated by that confusion. And you didn't even have the decency of giving him a level up. Shame. Shame. You should be ashamed of yourself, Pokemon. Should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Timber. 
temple. Ooh. Do I have a water type? Who's my water type? Don't have one. They really wanted to remake that polywag line, but they just couldn't do it. They just couldn't do it. It just didn't work. You know what? It's been a while. Save state time. Save state time. Save state time. Give it on up for save state time. Save state time. Save state time. It is save state time. I was going through the, um, the clips today for Twitch channel stuff. And um, we killed it in August. September, we had plenty of clips, but August was insane. There were so many clips. I don't know who was killing it, but people were killing it. Another one. I definitely thought it said pound. It did not, it said round. No! Strongest bubble beam ever. Hurt still doesn't know a lightning move, does it? Brian! You know what to do, buddy. To be clear, Brian, I did not mean die. Just to be totally clear, I did not actually mean that you need to die whenever I said you need to go out there and you know what you need to do. I meant win. I meant fight and win. Does anybody have a name for our friend Temple here, assuming that I catch him? I'm trying to think myself. I think he becomes Palpitoed. And I don't really like Palpatine's design as much as I like Temple's. Hmm. Temple, the tadpole Pokemon. By vibrating its cheeks, it emits sound waves imperceptible to humans. It uses the rhythm of these sounds to talk. He looks so concerned. He does look concerned. Who else do we know that's worried? Who's a nervous Nelly? <laughs> a nervous Nelly that we can name Temple after. <laughs> Temple. The definitely not sound type Pokemon. Looks worried. Let's go with... No, he becomes Palpitoed and then Seismitoed. I think that sounds right. So is he a groundwater type? That's not awful. We'll call him Crazy Frog. Cause he's rhythm and he's a and he's a and he's a toad. Or what was the Crazy Frog song called? Yeah, now you're Crazy Frog. What am I doing? Bye, Crazy Frog. Axel F. Just a moment too late. Yeah, that was exactly what I was thinking of. I need to go get healed. I needed to be healed. 
Actually, that would have been a great name for, for whatever his name is. Juliet! Juliette! Juliette! Hydrate! Hydrate time! I've not met my, my water quota for the day. Need to get after it. Fire! Yeah! Hurts no shockwave! Heck yes, bro. Love to hear it. Folks, question of the day today on the Discord was, do you trust game, movie, comic reviews? What kind of weight do you put on reviews? The reason I asked this, and feel free to sound off in the uh, in the chat there, my friends, but the reason I asked was because our sermon for this past Sunday was on Cyberpunk 2077, which is a game that I firmly believe people didn't play because of the hype of not playing it. I think that everyone that I've heard of that actually played Cyberpunk, and I'm not talking about booted it up on your PS4 and complained about every little bug. I think people that actually gave Cyberpunk a chance and actually tried to play it all had a delightful experience. I'm not saying it was bug free. It was bug free for me. But I think a lot of people rode on the coattails of bad reviews and just believed that Cyberpunk was a colossal flop. And I'm not quite so sure it was as much of a flop as we actually believe it to be. Why am I dead? Why did I die? What happened to me? Why am I dead? Hmm. If it's IGN, I don't believe it. IGN, here's the thing about IGN. Everything is a 7 or an 8, right? The trick with IGN is like, when are you when are you looking at it and what do you look at? If IGN gives something a 10, then I know odds are I'll like it. If IGN gives something a 3 or a 4, then odds are I know it's garbage. But if they give something like anything between a 6 through a, a 8, then I have no idea what that's going to be like. There's actually somebody on um, Backlogged that I've started following. And I really trust their opinion. And I really like the way that they have things broken down. They have the five star scale and they explain what each star actually like means for them in their in their about section. And I got mad. I got mad respect for that. Herdier? Isn't that his name? Herdier! A burning it, a burning it, a burning it, near, near, near. Digivolve into champion. Digivolve into ultimate. Heal me. Everything tends to be about the same from IGN, unless it's not, in which case. It's, it's very, very hyped, in which case it's probably fine. Or it's very, very not liked, and it's probably pretty bad. Trombone! Or unless they get paid, right? But we'll never get to know that one. What's up, T-Bone? How was your day? How was your weekend? We were just talking about reviews over here.
Another one, since you have, since your name is Chuck Bartowski, another one that I think is kind of like cyberpunk situation. I think a lot of people hate Shazam because they hate DC. They hate DC movies. And Shazam was pretty good. Also, my raid suggestions later is Mitsukat or G-Funk Railroad. I don't think I've ever heard of G-Funk Railroad. It's another one I think people just, it was popular to hate. The more people that hate something, the more tempted I am to want to watch it because I want to, I want to see if I hate it too. I almost like when people dislike something. I found him through LTN and he hasn't been live lately. Very interesting. I really like Shazam. I had to convince people to watch it, but they admit it's good. It was good. Driving home now, but first. Gotchapon. Trombone, you actually have a Gotchapon waiting too. Um, it was it was to lose the glasses, but here's another one for you. Right? A page out of the book. Yep, you did. But you just got another one, a page out of the book. Page out of Nate's book. We'll do that. Uh, we'll do that towards the end. Remind me at 350. We'll do a page out of the book before we close up shop today. We'll make that happen, Captain. Yeah, you actually had it saved up from last week where you did it, but we didn't have the Gotchapon restocked yet. So I can lose glasses now if you want, but I am playing Pokemon, which is something I really don't even need to see to exist. So I'll do it with tomorrow's game. Someone else had to remind you that I'm driving. Got you. You won't be back by 3.50? How far away are you from your house? More than 20 minute commute? I hate that. Temple, I'm gonna try and switch to uh, to Hertz. I'd like to get Hertz some some of that sweet sweet Expa. Expa. Buzz buzz. Nice dude. Killing it, Hertz. I had like a 37 minute commute on it when traffic is good and I have to go on 77. Oh, yeah, that's no fun. 77 is no fun. My wife used to have to go up, my wife used to have to go up uh, 29 out of Greensboro and that was rough, rough. 29 might be worse than 77, but not much. Hashtag just North Carolina things. You're moving to Winston-Salem? Oh, I grew up in Winston. I love Winston-Salem, Chuck. Winston is my stomping grounds, dude. I used to go to Haynes Mall and the FYE in Haynes Mall like regularly. Working in downtown. It's a gorgeous downtown. There's some great restaurants. If you like good, bougie food, fantastic restaurants in downtown Winston-Salem. Sweet potato is one of my favorite around there. If you like if you like to bouge it up. Also, hopefully I'll be moving things because I put in a rental app with a friend and I would only be a 12-minute walk to work. That would be wonderful. Been there, loved it. Yeah, it's delightful. It's a good spot. There's, pl there's plenty of them too. Uh, you were just in Winston-Salem briefly. Winston-Salem is fantastic. Excellent place. We all, me and my wife always talked about how we wanted to live there. Uh, but such is the life of itineracy. We we move where the bishop puts us. The mall's still alive? If, if you mean is it still open, the answer is yes. If you mean is it still vibrant, the answer is probably not. I don't think any mall is vibrant anymore. Picked up a buddy of mine on a road trip to Atlanta. Very fun. I'll be making the long drive to New Albany, Indiana here in a couple weeks. Well, really a week. A week and some days. He said he knew you? Oh, yeah? Well, do you want to drop his, his first name? 
I'll try not to dox him. I'm obviously Mr. Popular. Chris. For the G. Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking of, I know a lot of Chris's. <laughs> That's the real, like, I'm going through my, like, uh, my mental Rolodex of all the Chris's that I knew. Well, if they're UMC clergy, yep, odds are I know them. The Chris collection. The classic Chris. Library of Chris. Now that's what I call Chris. Volume 37. Man, Hertz, I need you, buddy. Hertz, I need you to take down some birds. Hertz, would you mind destroying birds for me real fast? Oh, trombone! We've been talking about you. We've been talking about how you hate birds. Over on Zargothos' stream. Done to my meeting. How are you doing today? Are you catching them all? I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Wit. How are you doing? How was your weekend, my friend? I did mention to you forever ago that I've been really wanting to hop in on your streams and just haven't had the chance to. But I know nothing about Gloomhaven, and I've been very curious about you're playing Gloomhaven. Because obviously all of us got it from that Epic Games sale or whatever. But I haven't had the chance to hop in. And see if it's a game that I'd be down to clown. Interested in it all. Wait, who is talking about me and mine? Uh, Zargathas and I were talking about your hatred of birds over on his stream. With Pokemons. Because the birds, of course, work for the bourgeoisie. Of course they do. As they are wont to do. As birds are wont to do. Every time I use the word want, W-O-N-T, uh, in my, um, what's the name of the platform? Uh, Grammarly. I use it in Grammarly, and Grammarly always tells me it is an outdated word and that I'm, I shouldn't use it, and it makes me irate. It is not outdated. It is a, it is a delightful and vibrant and living word that I will continue using until the day I die. I am wont to use that word. <laughs> What's Timber's name? Akira? Anybody have any better name suggestions than Akira? Hakira! Weekend was good. Gloomhaven is a blast. I played a little bit of the tabletop version. I'm really liking the digital side. If you like strategy tactics games, it'll be right up your alley. You can also do multiplayer, but with the time I stream, that just isn't an option. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Timber, the muscular Pokemon. These Pokemon appear at building sites and help out with construction. They always carry squared logs. Hey, what's up, Deacon Havoc? How we doing? Deacon Havoc, I was just listening to y'all's uh, y'all's podcast. Shout out Methodist Gaming for sure. We stan. Only outdated because too many kids learned the, that word by reading and pronounce it the same as won't. No one, surely. Surely no one says won't. Everyone says want. Blue Maven is fantastic. Spent eight to nine months playing that in physical form. Very cool. Well, I'm very curious about it. Very curious, but I just don't know enough about it. But yes, excellent podcast, Methodist Gaming, over on Pastoring the Digital Parish. Folks, if you want to find it, you can check out our Discord, Expansion Point Discord in the chat. Go over to Community D uh, Podcasts. Stain shared it recently. Playing it on and off stream. Very cool. Dude, I have server friends who infuriate me on a regular... Are you saying server or several? Friends on, who infuriate me on a regular basis by saying it that way. Drives me nuts because I can't be rude enough to correct them at this point. I... I... That is... How? No one says won't. I'm won't. There's no way. Appreciate that. Of course. What well, was a great podcast. I love Pastor in the Digital Parish. Ryan Dunn, UMCOM. Those are my peeps. I've heard it in audio. You have not! Maybe 30. You're killing me. There's no way. There is no way. I refuse to believe you. 
Are they British? Perhaps they have a strong accent. Won't. The man was wont to... Even that sounds silly. Heard what, Zando? Zando, W-O-N-T, without the apostrophe, to be want to do something, to have a proclivity for something, is want. And maybe 30 Bats is telling me that there are people that mispronounce it as won't, and I'm losing my marbles. I refuse to believe such a thing. Wait, that says here, and I am the one getting... Uh, that says here, and I'm the one getting called out on boats. That is the reason that I think owls are sus. Trombone, I think you're talking about the birds thing? Pretty sure they pronounce it won't in FF. No! There's no way! I've always wanted to play that game, and you guys just immediately turned me off of it. I'm now no longer on board for FF 15 or whatever it is. 14. Hate it so much, there are a number of words they get wrong on a consistent basis. You're killing me. You're absolutely killing me. Folks, if you're gonna go into voice acting work, at the very least, learn words. You gotta know words. You gotta know words. If it's your job to know words, then you gotta know them. You gotta know the words. I'm talking more about birds and the fact that maybe 30 bats is here and is the reason. Got you, got you, got you. Have you tried? Hey, if I could, if I could make one suggestion to every voice actor out there, words, learn them. Learn those words. Learn the IPA pronunciation of everything in your script. It should be a whole rule. Well, and here's the thing is that, I mean, all of us pastors, there's a lot of pastors in the chat right now. We all have to learn. We have to figure out how to pronounce all those frustrating biblical names. What was it the other day? Oh my goodness. There was something in the lectionary the other day. Ah, what was it? It was, it was, oh my goodness. It was a king. I think it was, it looked just like Nebuchadnezzar, but it had a slight difference. And so it wasn't actually Nebuchadnezzar. And I said it like seven times in the text. And I called it Nebuchadnezzar every single time. Was that, was that what it is? Nebuch Nebuchadnezzar? I don't know. But that, yes, it was that the other day. And I like read it like seven times. And then finally I was like, all right, I'll do one more take. Cause I've, I've been reading the lectionary texts in the morning. And I like looked at it and I was like, I've been saying this wrong the entire time. <laughs> Nebuchadnezzar. Yep, Jeremiah. That's the reason why I read it, because we're in Jeremiah right now in the lectionary. That is so funny. Nebuchadrezzar. Well, there you go. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how you're getting it. Wit says, or you can be like me and just have other people read it for you. That was my go-to when I was a youth minister. Deacon, is that your is that your tactic as well? Deacon Havoc is a youth minister. Maybe that's the trick. Just got to have other people read the scripture. We have had people reading a scripture... Um, no, you're not the youth minister. You're the associate pastor. What am I talking about? I apologize. Or are you? What is your role, Deacon? I know you as Deacon Havoc. I mean, pronunciation could get really hairy if we're insisting on original language pronunciation. Rather than tell you what your role is, I should ask. That would be the much more polite thing to do, wouldn't it? Pronunciation could get really hairy. So that's how I'm feeling about the Rings of Power. I'll be very interested in hearing your perspective there, maybe, because I know you're waiting a little while before watching Rings of Power. I'll be very interested in hearing how you feel about, because it's very obvious. It's very obvious on Rings of Power. You will notice this, friends, if you watch it, that there are multiple crews and multiple sets and that they're filming things on different days and that odds are there are chunks of this crew that never met each other and they pronounce things very differently from each other. You will notice. If you go back and watch it and listen to how things are pronouncing things, they all say it a little different and people that are on the same crew together all say it the same way but then you go to another crew they say it a, li a little different I'm not going to say any more than that because I don't want to like spoil anything King Ash Ak Akawarash Akashwarash yeah, I would say Ahasuerus. Ahas, Ahasuerus. I, that's how I would have said that is Ahasuerus, which sounds like a sounds like a dinosaur that's just caught you in a lie. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 
Yes! The Ahasuerus is a dinosaur that caught you in a lie. I love that so much. If I were a webcomic illustrator, I would make a webcomic of that so quickly. So quickly. That's brilliant, dude. <laughs> the Ahasuerus. So good. Mm. Crack myself up. Crack myself up. Oh, boy. That's a bad transliteration of a Persian name. That's more like Sharshuk or something. Been a while since I, since I looked. I've noticed it in Rings of Power, but I'm okay with it. I just imagine it's a regional dialect thing and roll with it. That's fair. That's fair. You can go with that. It's certainly most atrocious with the elves, so you could go with that. The elves are so distant, you know. It would make sense that the elves have a stronger, thicker accent. But yeah, it is, it is one of those things. It's one of those things. I've just now gotten to the point that I'm even somewhat confident in my ability with um, Japanese names. I just remembered I need to order a sword right now. Dude, I'm constantly thinking that. I constantly remember that I need a sword. That's pretty much the only thought I have on any given basis. The user unleashes a vicious blow after its cute act makes the target less wary. It's like listening to someone say Crick instead of Creek. It may hurt my soul, but I just gotta roll with it. Well, that's just... Yeah, that is dialect right there. I do wonder sometimes how much of my, um, my southern accent peeks its way through. Because Buish says I sound country, and I disagree. I need the biblical names that actually tell people to pronounce it with confidence because the majority of people won't know the difference, right? That's the truth. Do it loud, do it proud. Most people won't pick up on it. And then the ones that will will be so mad they won't be hearing it anyway. You do not sound country, but we should sound the- I agree! I agree. I think that I'm very middle of the road. I'm not saying I'm like Midwestern. I definitely have a- like if, if I slip into moments of accent, then it would be leaning towards the southern accent. But I think I sound I sound pretty like I'm 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 internet speak at this point. You now like everybody have that like uh uh urban southern. I'll take that. What was it called? The transatlantic accent? Whatever the modern internet transit transatlantic accent is, that's what I have. In like 50 years there're going to be actors that are going to be recreating the internet voice and it's going to sound just like me. All right, we're almost time to read another page from the Mirror Mural. Soon and very soon. I appreciate that affirmation. <laughs> You've helped my self-confidence. It is funny, though, because I think the time that I... 50 years, what do you think is going on with these viral influencers? That's a countable, countable cadence of pitch and inflection. Yeah, I think so. I think that I think that's a pretty fair amount of time. That was when the transatlantic accent boomed, wouldn't you say? 50 years ago, 60 years ago? Maybe even a little further. 70 years? What year is it? <laughs> it's 2022. It's definitely like 70 years. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. The 50s were old whenever I was young. Now they're just even older. What's my age again? What's my age again? I think it's happening right now. And there was a, it was a 30s thing. That was 90 years ago. Oof. I guess I'm thinking of the black and white pictures. I'm thinking of like the 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 40s and 50s movies that I've heard it in. Where it, but that was that was almost a not not a echo, but that was a continuation of what had already existed, right? Transatlantic accent developed to overcome the shortcomings of shortwave radio. Coming at you through the waves of the radio. It's a great accent. It's a fun one to recreate. 
you can, if you find somebody that can do a good transatlantic accent, it's gonna it's, you're, you're just you're finding a, a great impressionist, especially that can make it really convincing. I guess now I gotta go listen to Blink too. Now I got what's my age again stuck in my head. Was that the name of an album? Or was that on um, um, Enema of the State? High pitch nasal tone and emphasis on clear diction works super well when you're dealing with staticky transmissions that carry almost no mid tone and little no bass. It's fascinating, isn't it? The little adaptations we make. And obviously, what what sig what are like signifiers of the internet era is uh, um, fast talking, right? We have to speak fast and with very clear diction because we got to get as much in as quickly as we can. Someone in a, in another fifty or sixty years will be studying Mr. Beast's dialect. Be like, why did why did Mr. Beast sound this way? Someone will be analyzing David Dobrik's tone of his voice at the beginning of his videos and talking about the fact how they just gave away cars all the time back in the 2020s they just gave away cars everybody got a car all the time I used to play the old time radio app that radio had radio shows from the 1930s 1940s for my students they always commented on the voices and how different they sounded from today well and so and they sounded so disingenuous that's what always blew me away is that it never sounded it never sounded like they actually sound like that. Like it sounded like a put on voice. And that's because it partly was. It had developed out of the what Bats is saying, right? It had developed out of a necessity for the time. Fascinating. Fascinating stuff. I guess we don't have any mods in here right now. I'm going to shout out since I I shout I said to shout them out earlier, but obviously we didn't have a mod around. So we'll shout out Methodist Gaming there. Folks, if you don't follow Methodist Gaming, you should. I don't know when they stream next. Deacon, if you're still in the chat, let us know when you stream next. Um, But they have a great podcast in our community podcast section of our Discord. They also have a Discord of their own that I think they talk about a little bit in the podcast, unless that was another podcast that I heard them talk about the Discord. I need to move on to reading my book. But I don't just want to stop in the middle of the battle. I'd like to stop back in the Pokemon Center. Because I get all confused. No! Hiriyama! See if we can't get Brian some some strength. Joe Marsh was driving and could not give a shout out because that would be unsafe. Absolutely, please practice safe driving, especially after your very stressful month. But always practice safe driving. Really, do not feel the need to text and drive, folks. If I talk to you and you're in the chat while you're driving, please do not respond. I beg of you. I will not be offended. My feelings will not be hurt if you do not respond to my questions. Just ignore me and act like I'm not even here. Enjoy the tones of the Pokemans. Okay, are we about done? We must be about done. I think we are, because I feel like this was the last little patch. We just got to make it back to the Pokemon Center, and then we can call it a day. So let's make it back. Let's heal up. We'll read a page out of the Mirror Mural, and we'll call it a stream. Yeah? This has been a fun one. By the way, folks, we have a new React, if you haven't seen it yet. Not new React, a new uh, custom command in the chat by popular request um, by Hunter Fam Mom and others is exclamation point you matter. We'll now bring up a, uh, a special message.
There you go. Sneaky Pigs wants you to know you matter. You're made of sacred stuff. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. So now anytime you want to let somebody know that, you can in our chat. I'm a little blurb. Now, if I were a tech wizard, like maybe 30 bats, I would make it so that whenever that command is requested, it like reads it over the audio. But I'm no, I'm no savant. All right, let's save, yeah. Save state, bada bing, bada boom. Let's save in game too, just for good measure. I mean, I could literally just set it up for you and send you the files. That's also true. Man, it takes a while to save. This game really does take a long time to save. Something about it. Folks, we're going to wrap up stream and go find somebody to raid. But first, of course, we've got to read a page out of the mirror mural. So let's RNG Jesus and see what we need to read. 147. Okay. Let us see if that's a page that we've read before or not. Folks, Mirror Mural is a book that I wrote whenever I was 10 years old. It's very cringe and embarrassing, but we read it anyway. And we just find out what's going on with that. Ooh wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Uh, so this is a book, again, written by a child. It's very disorganized. There's so many characters. You can't even begin to imagine how many characters there are in this story. Uh, and I'm, I read this without any context because I want you guys to be as confused as possible. So this is page 147 of the Mirror Mural, uh, chapter 32, titled Harm No Evil. I'm going to turn it up the the piano ballad a little bit because it's almost too quiet. And we're going to uh, hear, hear <clears throat> page 147. But I don't want to, Nolan cried. You don't have to. Help us defeat the Demon King, Brady yelled. Help us, Nolan. You're right. Let's go tell everyone, Nolan yelled. Call off the match. Okay, Brady rushed over to the big man happily. Call it off, please. The big man was straight-faced. Don't mind him. Let's go, Nolan exclaimed. Yeah, Brady screeched as Nolan... Brady screeched as Nolan and he ran towards the entrance. Ugh! I told you, Brady. Nolan muttered evilly, stabbing his dagger further through Brady! I was born evil in this world. His eyes had turned a deep red as he looked into Brady's innocent and unsuspecting eyes. You, you lied, Brady cried weakly as he grabbed the blade. Sorry, but I had to make this as easy as possible. So, you plan to trick the others as well? Indeed. Nolan continued to shove the blade deeper into him still. This is the least I can do to repay you, Brady yelled, swirling around and quickly giving Nolan a slice across the face. Ah! Nolan screeched as he fell to the floor, grabbing his face. Pugh! Brady spat at him. With a long sword through his gut, he was not a pretty sight. If it weren't for this super tough koala skeleton... No context. I'd be dead. Ugh, Nolan cursed. You fought dirty! He spat on him. What are you talking about? Oh, and you didn't? Brady laughed weakly, pulling out the sword. You can't remove it. Oh, can't I? No, you can't! Nolan cried as he pushed a button on his belt. Shk! The sword had spikes sticking out of all of the holes on the sword, harshly stabbing Brady's koala organs! Ugh! Brady groaned as he fell to his knees on the ground. The end. That's page 147 of the Mirror Mural, presented without context and any knowledge of who these characters are, why they have koala skeletons, none of that. None of that do you get to know because it is the mirror mural and that is the rules we play. So if you want to know more about that, you just got to you got to piece together all the pages that we've ever read of the mirror mural, read them in sequential order and then you'll understand maybe. <laughs> then you'll understand how confused a a 10-year-old is whenever they're writing a book. Left with that, let's find somebody to raid, yeah. Uh, I saw that uh, Hunter Fam dropped a suggestion of Kishu Kiralia. Kishu Kira Back to that evidence of the fact that we don't know how to pronounce words and names. Once it's finished, we need a published, unabridged edition. At least koalas have skeletons. Yep, now you know. The more you know. 
Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So we gotta find somebody. Unlike, say, Octopi. That's true, that would have been even more convenient, because then he wouldn't have had a skeleton to deal with at all. Or was the- so is a skeleton tough, or is not having a skeleton just as tough? Um, let's see, and who did- who did, uh... Trombone also recommended people earlier. You dropped suggestions earlier, yeah. The pinned chat ex experiment is available on your channel. Click to learn more. Interesting. Uh, Mitsukat or G-Funk? Oh, that's right, because I said I'd never heard of G-Funk Railroad. Well, let's, let's raid G-Funk Railroad. I've literally never heard of them. Everybody's playing Fortnite, huh? Why is everybody playing Fortnite? <laughs> All right, well, that's who we'll raid. Uh, that, was the, that was the one that Trombone did drop first. So we'll go ahead and raid them. Folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We are really uh, church, and I am Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really the pastor here. I appreciate you all being here. We'll be back on tomorrow at 1 o'clock for our variety stream. We actually have a special variety stream tomorrow. We will still have our voter, but we probably won't be playing a game for the whole three hours because we got exciting other stuff that we're going to be doing for the time together. I thank you so much for being here. This has been so much fun. Folks, I believe the three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on Twitch, Discord, and YouTube, Exclamation Discord, anytime to join our Discord. And number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, go spam some you matters in the chat of G-Funk Railroad playing some Fortnite, Fortnite Battle Pass. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow, I hope, if not right now over in the Discord. Until then, bye-bye!